All right, Martin's Metal Art. I know I've talked about this in the past, but I want to give some major props to Thermodynamics. This is a Cutmaster 40. It's got all sorts of nice digital controls, tell you when you're screwing up, tell you when something's not working. Um, I got my AVE sticker on it. Uh, I have got something to make sure there's no water in the lines because we all know that that is the killer of uh, burning up consumables in a plasma cutter. So it's, it's got its own little inline filter which don't even don't bother with. Get something good, uh, heat your air if you're in a real moist area, humid area. Thankfully I'm not. Um, I clean out my tank and my compressor uh, fairly regularly, not as often as I should. Um, but anyway, I wanted to tell you something about this machine. So the old one, I don't see the old one way down there. I cut out 10 years worth of stuff with that. That's a Cutmaster 50, I believe, from Thermodynamics. It is a great machine. It finally started giving up the ghost. Um, I found this one and I jumped on this one. Basically, from my experiences, there's two types of plasma, two brands of plasma cutters. There's hypotherm and there's thermodynamics. Um, I just, from the people that I talk to, they rave about both of these products. Thermodynamics is a little bit more pricey, but I've seen those machines work for 10, 15, 20 years um, and without having any issues whatsoever. Uh, thermodynamics is, uh, I don't know, it might be, you know, we might be talking Cadillacs or Mercedes, but it's kind of like the Miller-Lincoln argument. Um, you really can't go wrong if you stick with either of those brands. Um, another sticker by AVE. Uh, this 211 auto set is the older version of this Miller-Matic 211. Uh, the major difference between these two is one is one weighs about 150 pounds the other one weighs about 60 pounds so <laughs> you don't want to haul that thing around a job site this one is actually really really mobile i still use the old lincoln uh seven or 170 when i when i'm welding uh, out in the field but i, I like both these machines the, the newer one is you got a little more, few more uh i don't know i've got this one dialed in a little bit better i guess but they're both good machines. One I use straight argon on, the other one I use CO2. Uh, not straight argon, but, but green gas, 10% argon, whatever it is. The other one is just regular CO2, which I, I can't tell the difference in the weld. And I don't do anything really structural. So anyway, so let me give you some information on this. So that old thermodynamic down there, it was 60 to 70 pounds air pressure. So I get my new one. And, of course, do I read the manual? Hell no. I, I know nothing about the manual, so I start cutting away, and it cuts decent, and every now and then it cuts a little bit better, and then, you know, but it's still cutting, you know, I'm, I'm getting the job done. So I'm, I'm cutting a lot of stuff out, and I am f kind of flying through some consumables. And this part in particular goes in the cone... It's got a little spring thing in it, and all of a sudden it's not springing, and the machine's not turning on, and then I, so I take a little bit, it's like got some grit built up, and they're like 90 bucks a pop. So, you know, if you're cutting, you know, you're trying to make a couple hundred dollars an hour when you're cutting out, you know, some type of artwork, and, and all of a sudden $90 goes away every other day, um, you know, the tips are... You know, when, when I started, I think the tips were like four bucks. I don't even want to know what they are now. I don't even look at it. Electrodes, expensive as heck. I mean, all your consumables and all your welding products, um, that's where they're making their money. Uh, so the less consumables you burn up, the more profit you're making. Pretty simple math here, especially when it comes to plasma cutters. Uh, welding tips are still fairly cheap. Just my only recommendation on that is don't go cheap. You go, go to the Chineseium tips as opposed to the genuine 
uh, Miller or the Genuine Lincoln, um, the, the Chinese ones are going to blow out so much faster. So you're going to save money by buying the better stuff. It's going to be a little more expensive, but it's going to last twice as long, sometimes three times as long. Well, anyway, I'm not getting knockoff parts for this thing. I'm getting thermodynamic parts, and I'm still flying through consumables. And I finally call up, I believe they're in Dallas, and I leave a message, hey, I, my name is Martin Kiff, and I do a lot of plasma cutting and a lot of metal art, and I love your product, but I've got a question on consumables because I'm tired of buying these guys in particular. And I leave the message. About an hour later, I actually get a phone call from a very nice lady, and she goes, yeah, I'm, I'm the, you know, the expert on the... You know, for tech support on the plasma cutters. And I explained to her a problem. And she goes, well, what's your air pressure? And I go, it's 70 pounds. And she goes, well, you should have read the manual, you dumb shit. It should be 90 pounds. 90 to 100 pounds. And I, this is after two years of kind of fighting this thing. Two years of fighting this thing. And I read the manual. And I crank the air up to 90 pounds. And my consumables have probably, I probably, they probably last four times as long as when it was running at 70 pounds. Four times, people. Uh, I don't want to know how much money that is. I don't want to know, equate that to how many rounds of golf it is. Um, bottom line is, you know, I mean, You've got knowledge built up in the trades, especially in you know with welding and stuff like that, on you know temperatures and and, and gases and all sorts of different things. Uh, it, you're never, it's never too late to actually go to school. And sometimes going to school is just reading the darn manual. Um, you know, plug it in and just fire away. I mean, believe it or not, you never know. And this is a great case. And this cost me a ton of money so there was an absolute fuckwit operating this thing before now I'm proud that that stickers there because I got my gas turned up or my air pressure turned up correctly and it cuts like butter like it should have in the first place like it would have in the first place so anywho that's my lesson today that's my review of the thermodynamic cut master 40 enjoy Highly recommend. Thanks for watching.